Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of Dragon Warrior 3 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Last episode, Prince Oni and his companions Sadie, Indy, and Tennyson uh, did some exploration uh, of the eastern continent here. Now that they've uh, pretty much explored most of the area, it's time for them to get back on quest, and that is rescuing the kidnapped granddaughter of the owner of the Black Pepper shop. Uh, they came over here to get the Black Pepper, but they found out that you know, uh-oh, the black pepper shop is closed because somebody kidnapped uh, Tanya, the daughter of the, the granddaughter of the owner. The granddaughter's fiance, fiance uh, Galen, went to rescue, but uh, obviously he guess wasn't up to the task because uh, he's been gone for a while and uh, she's still gone, so it's time for us to uh, head to the uh, cave where the kidnappers are said to uh, be at. I want to stock up on some uh, medical herbs. We're going to need uh, a bunch of medical herbs because um, right now the only person who can cast healing spells in our party is Prince Oni. And uh, he doesn't have a lot of magic points to do that. And uh, there's going to be a, a high encounter rate uh, in the upcoming uh, area that we're going to. Uh, the reason is because the cave is... Uh, it it's... Uh, he transitions between each of the screens. It's like an underground cave. So, uh, remember when you transition to a screen, you have the highest chance of an encounter rate. So, uh, even though the cave is really small, there's just going to be so many uh, transition screens that they're going to boost up the encounter rate uh, really, really high. So, I want to make sure to grab those uh, medical loads because, like I said, we're going to be in a lot of fights. And, uh, some of the enemies there, uh, we have the uh, these catula, uh cat enemies that uh, can steal your MP. We have more of the trick bags that we saw back in the pyramid. Uh, they make a reappearance in this dungeon. Uh, so we're going to have a lot of uh, enemies stealing MP, so might as well uh, stack up on the, uh, the uh, medicinal herbs, the medical herbs. Uh, if push came to shove, you could also transfer the wizard ring over from Tennyson over to Prince Oni to uh, to restore some uh, magic points. Uh, but I end up getting enough uh, medical herbs here that didn't need to do that. So, so there's the cave up there. We're gonna head to it real quick. Short walk. And good thing we don't have to have torches like in Dragon Quest One. They did away with that in Dragon Quest Two. So. We didn't even get to a transition screen, and we uh, already uh, run into enemies here, so... These guys uh, can be annoying because they cast the Chaos spell. Uh, chaos basically charms your character. Uh, that's what it is in the Final Fantasy games. And basically, you lose control of that character. They still let you input uh, what your character wants to do, what you want your character to do, but they're not going to follow your orders. So... Uh, your chaos character will just basically start attacking uh, his his or her allies. Get really annoying if, like, say Tennyson got, because then she might cast like Firebane on the entire party. So and there's those uh, large, uh, large encounter rates when you do transition screens. Now, uh, after certain times when you're uh, heading up or down. Uh, you're not going to be able to go any further up. That's usually there's a key on the other, there's a door on the other side. So you have to use the magic key to uh, open it up. There'll be a guy uh, later on. We're going to run into him, a uh, soldier. He's going to be succeeded. He's like, uh, I uh, saw people and they just like kind of walked into the darkness. I thought I heard a lock turning or something along those lines. And that's your clue that you know, uh, hey, whenever I walk into a wall can't see any, a darkness wall, uh, I should use a key. Here's the, the Catula enemies. So, not too difficult on their own, just that they uh, tend to get in large groups, and uh, you're not going to be able to finish them all off in one turn, uh, and they may, in that uh, first turn, use that uh, dance to steal some MP. I think they already stole some MP there off of Prince Oni. He's looking a little low. So, in those instances, I'm not too when I fight them. I'm not too worried about maybe using a firebane or a fireball spell, because the longer they're there, 
uh, the more likely they are to use that uh, dance to steal MP. So I'd rather use the MP to get rid of them quicker than have them uh, potentially steal the MP because I'm trying to conserve it. We got some more man eater chests. We have two of them in this uh, area. One up here, one uh, down to the uh, southwest. So, as always, we're going to just, uh, you know, parry trick with everybody. Uh, have Tennyson. Tennyson will just uh, defend on her own. I had to reset a few times uh, because the man eater chest would seem to talk, want to target Tennyson if I didn't. Uh, if I didn't uh, parry with her, uh, the chest would uh, knock her out in one hit. And she's not fast enough to uh, outspeed the man eater chest. The uh, chest tends to go before her, so she wasn't even able to get up to increase spell to increase her own uh, her own uh, defense. So she use a medical herb right there. All, uh, for the most part, all the treasure is in the upper part here. Uh, there's only one other treasure chest uh, in this first floor, and it is down in the southwest corner, and that's one of those uh, uh, man-eater uh, man chests that we just ran into. So that executioner looks kind of like candor. Uh, I wonder what ever happened to him. Uh, but uh, he's he can hit hard, but he's probably the least of the wars because all he does is basically just attack. So in this instance, we'd want to get rid of the trick bag and the cat first because they're the ones who can steal the MP. So that's why I used the dam, uh, the uh, the bang spell there in the hopes that it would hit all our enemies. But the trick bag started up with a uh, uh, stop spell, and of course it worked against Tennyson. So didn't uh, help us uh, get rid of the uh, enemies. There we go, there's the Executioner's uh, stats there. So, like I said, uh, physical attacking enemies ain't gonna be as bad uh, anymore. Like I said, the, the worst enemies are gonna start being the ones that like start uh, casting spells, uh, who have special abilities, uh, like stealing your MP, casting chaos to make you target yourself. Uh, they're the ones we're gonna start watching out for. And uh, that guy had to watch out for the poison needle. They can actually drop a poison needle. Uh, in one of the runs where I reset, uh, I actually ended up uh, getting a second poison needle. But not really important because the only one who can use the poison needle is the wizard. And uh, we're not gonna have, well, the wizard will have the wizard for a little bit longer. Uh, basically waiting until we get the buy kill spell for the wizard. Uh, Tennyson's gonna transform into a soldier at the Shrine of Dharma. Uh, the buy kill spell doubles your uh, attack power, uh, so it's really good for uh, you know boss battles, taking them out quicker. Um, bosses, uh, starting with the boss in this area, are going to start having a feature called regeneration, where off screen uh, between rounds they will recover a certain percentage of their health. I saw a man go south right into the wall of darkness, then from out of nowhere, I heard the sound of a key unlocking. I think he said I went a little fast there. So we just head south a little more. I think I said we start walking into a wall of darkness. We can't walk anymore. We use the magic key, open it up. And uh, here's like I said the only other treasure chest on this floor. There was some treasure chest on the next floor, but the next floor doesn't have uh, enemies, it just has the uh, set encounters. We got uh Fairy water there. Fairy water, like in the previous games, uh, you can sprinkle it on your character, and uh, it wards off weaker enemies. So it's good for like older areas if you're just trying to uh, walk around. Like say if we uh, warped to say Romilly and uh, wanted to go to uh, Naves, uh, we can just uh, use fairy water. We don't have to worry about fighting all those uh, enemies. So. We'll also get a spell later on called Repel. Uh, Prince Oni will get it. Uh, that'll uh, do the same thing. A good critical hit there by Sadie. Critical hits, remember, they uh, don't take in the uh, character's defense. 
so we're gonna now head over to the uh, far right. Like I said, this is the last floor of encounters. We want to save on uh, at least uh, have eight MP on uh, Tennyson, so she can cast the outside spell to get out of this dungeon as soon as we're done. Uh, you'd also want to save another 8 MP uh, on either Tennyson or Prince Oni if you didn't have a uh, Wing of the Wyvern, but we do have one, so we don't have to worry about casting the Return spell. Here we just have a collection of seeds. It's like a seed vault, but not a seed vault for repopulating like a planet, but a seed vault for bump bumping up stats. We'll, of course, leave these uh, seeds in the vault back in uh, Aaliyah Han. Because they'd be useless to use right now, especially on Sadie or Indy, because uh, both of them are very close to getting their uh, class change. So who would you be now? You're thinking about wanting to join us, huh? If we would have said yes, they would have been like, well, come back later, the uh, boss ain't here. I forgot to say that, so... But hey, it's the Candor henchman again. I guess our clue that it was Candor again was we had those um, Eliminator and Executioner enemies that looked like Candor. So these guys are the same as they were back in the Tower of Champagne. Um, so no problem with them there. We'll just take them out easily. Uh, in the Game Boy Advance remake, uh, they actually gain some spells. Uh, I think in the in Tower of Champagne they can cast the Heal spell. And from what I've read from the strategy guide who I'm getting the pictures from. And uh, in this battle here, they can cast the Decrease spell to decrease your defense and they can cast Heal more, which is the upgraded uh, Heal spell. Heal does about 30, Heal more does about 75. Uh, in terms of healing. Now we take out the Candor henchman, but there's no Candor. Well, he'll be he'll be around. Let's use some more of those uh, medical herbs, heal ourselves up. Because uh, where the henchmen are, well, the big boss man is going to be around too. So and that's the last battle we're going to have have in this area. So might as well. Heal up to four, use all our uh, medical herbs. And hey, there's the captured people. I am Tanya, Kinner from the town of Barata. The button that opens the door should be near the table at the end of the corridor. And we can't speak unless those uh, thick uh, doors. We push the push the button there, and that'll free the uh, the couple. We're at home, won't we? When we get back, let's get married. Oh, my darling. Thank you, brave hero. They're not going to get too, too far, though, because look who's back. The boss and two of his henchmen. Nah, now that I'm back, you'll never get away. Save me, brave hero. Leave him to us. Run, quick. I'll never forget this. You again. Who are you guys, anyway? This time, I'll finish you off. Now we have uh, Candor 2. He got a new paint... Uh, color scheme, so he painted himself blue. Uh, maybe he's just depressed because he lost the crown. Uh, like I said, the interesting thing is you don't have to fight Candor to get the crown, uh, so this could actually be your first uh, meeting with him, uh, but uh, I don't think his dialogue changes. I guess the game just assumes that you're probably not going to do what they tell you to do and go and get the crown. Uh, but uh, Candor has... Uh, uh, newest, like I said, that new ability called Regeneration, and uh, he can regenerate between rounds. He regenerates anywhere between 40 to uh, 60 uh, hit points. He starts off with 400 hit points. So if you're like adding up the totals of how much damage you do to him, you'd be like, wait, I did more than 400 damage to him. Well, that's because, like I said, between each round, he's gaining between 40 and 60 hit points back uh, toward his max. So luckily it doesn't go over his max. You can only ever have at most 400 hit points, but uh, still. Sometimes you get lucky with the Blazemore spell. Uh, that takes off about 70 damage. So if you get that working out, that's uh, really good. There he is, Candor. Like I said, he did that regeneration. That was nice. We did a ton of damage to him that round. 
other rounds, not so much. Like I said, as long though as long though as you're doing at least uh, 60 damage to him, even if you cover the, at max the 60, you'll slowly will him down. Well, this if you do more than 60. You know, even if you're only doing 61, uh, you can only uh, regenerate at most 60. So it's just a long, uh, long slog. I'm not having uh, Tennyson use any more uh, spells, though, because, like I said, I want to keep that uh, 8 to cast the outside spell to get out of here real, real quick. She mainly used all her spells to, uh, well, magic points, though, to uh, cast a bunch of increase. Because Kando is just basically going to use uh, physical attacks. So by boosting our defense up really, really high, he's not going to be too much of a problem. So like I said, just a, a matter of uh, whittling him down and overcoming that regeneration. See how right there we did, uh, like, uh, close to 80 damage that round. So even if we healed back the whole, uh, whole 60 to max amount, we still have, took about 20 off his max, so... This is why that buy kill spell is going to be really, really important because it's uh, going to be doubling our damage. Like I said, right now we're doing between like 60 and 80, depending on how hard how hard Prince Oni and Sadie hit. Uh, and Indy's not fooling around as much. If Indy fools around, uh, sometimes we don't even break that 60 uh, damage threshold. So uh, having the buy kill spell. Uh, you know, to double our attack power is really, really nice. Because we don't have a Pilgrim right now. Uh, Pilgrim would come with a spell called Sap that lowers an enemy's defense. Uh, the defense is the, like, upgraded Sap. It hits the whole party that the enemy uses on us. Uh, we'll get that eventually then, too, if we have a Pilgrim. Uh, so we have no way right now of uh, lowering the enemy's uh, defense. Uh, so once we get a Pilgrim... Uh, to be able to lower an enemy's defense and then double our attack power, that'll really help us cut through bosses. And that'll be happening shortly because, uh... By the time we get to our next boss, because you can see, Sadie and Indy are both close to level 20. And level 20 is the point where they can, uh, class change at the Shrine of Dharma. Indy will be able to change directly into a Sage, uh, without getting the Book of Satori. And, uh, we'll be transforming, uh... Indy, uh, 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 no, I mean Sadie, she'll be transforming into the, the Pilgrim. So, well, Kanda runs away, and we're gonna run away too by casting the outside spell. And now, uh, we can, uh, like I said, we're gonna drop off all those, uh, seeds, because, uh, we just wanna clear up some inventory space, so. Let's head on back to Aliahan. And then of course we can head to uh well, we could have got go back to uh the uh Bharata then and get the pepper. But uh I'm actually going to instead work back to the Shrine of Dharma, just because I'm so close to getting the uh class changes. So uh, what I'll end up doing is I'll go to that uh, tower to the north of uh, the Shrine of Dharma to get the book to turn into a sage. Not that I need that book, because uh, Indy will be able to turn into a sage directly because uh, she's a goof-off. So, that is the one class that they won't let you class change into uh, back in the uh, Shrine of Dharma. Uh, you can turn into a merchant, a, a fighter, a, a soldier, anything. Uh, except the goof off. I guess they realized that uh, if you found out that goof offs can change, you could just probably turn someone right into a goof off there, go out, and grind those metal slimes around the Shrine of Dharma, and uh, get sages real, real quick. So, uh, yeah, they won't let you change into a goof off. Uh, it's the one class that they won't let you. Uh, you have to start as uh, if you want to get the sage. So, that'd be really tough though to probably get on. Uh, you know, start the game off with just the heal and three goof-offs. Especially toward the end there, because like I said, as the goof-off gains levels, uh, they gain more, like, goofy tricks. Uh, so they're more likely to, uh, fool around instead of doing what you told them to do in battle. So, 
Uh, one of the interesting things about uh, the tricks is they're, uh, they don't take into account the uh, character's gender. And what I mean by that is uh, later on, uh, sometimes uh, Indy will do a, a, a trick and it'll be like, uh, Indy gets caught up in his own legs, even though Indy is uh, female. So I guess they just do the, the male pronoun for uh, when they were coding the game. They, they didn't think to put a check in there like what pronoun to use based on your uh, character's gender. So, you know, we'll get, we'll get uh, things saying that, you know, hey, uh, you know, he gets caught up in his own legs, but Indy's a, Indy's a girl. Indy was a, a rat in the Marty Mouse House uh, community. Amazing Indy. She was, uh, I believe, a wild rat who was uh, who got caught and trained. Uh, it's been a while. Sadie is uh, a little bit more of an interesting story. She was also a wild rat uh, that uh, the guy ended up uh, catching, and Sadie had babies, and the whole Rat Review magazine had a whole big story on it. So it's a good magazine to get into. Uh, the, uh, the Rodent Reader. Out on quarterly, the quarterly rodent reader. So, rodentreader.com. If you're interested in them, you can get it to come in uh, PDFs. So, you don't even have to get a physical subscription. You can just get the PDF to read it right on your uh, computer. So, speaking of computers, I hope you join me back tomorrow where we uh, head up to the optional tower to get some more experience, get that book, and then change our characters. Take care, have a good day. Bye.